but that's what he's all about. He's wonderful predator inside the box. What a goal! He did it again! And it's the end! Goal! Hey guys, welcome to Sports Tea. We have a brand new episode for you guys and it's all about our national soccer team, our national football team and that is Harambe Stars. So yes, Samti first. Sunday saw me go to the stadium to actually watch the game between Harambe Stars versus Guinea Bissau and I was there on time by 3 p.m. I was actually there but uh, getting into the stadium was quite hectic for most of us especially the journalists because we're being told go to this gate go to that gate ah it was a mess but finally i got in now at 3 30 p.m the game kicked off at 4 p.m and it was all about dominating and harambe stars dominated that game but one thing um harambe stars were not prepared for and actually didn't notice is that um, guinea bissau had come to defeat and they were defending their lives away. Guinea Bissau defended. <laughs> they were like Chelsea a couple of seasons ago with the bus. They call you the Guinea Bissau bus. It was serious. And Harambe Stars really struggled to penetrate that defense. Uh, we created so many chances, even in the first half. We created so many chances. Um, Olunga there, where they are, Wanyama, but we did not get, uh, we didn't actually get to score a goal in the first half. And now to the second half, which was actually dramatic, and it was, uh, it was crazy. First of all, we wasted so many chances again, and we don't manage to score a goal. But uh, the quite interesting fact is that James Situma, that is a fullback, was actually withdrawn, and he was replaced by Jesse Ware. Now he's going to the three-four-three formation uh, because. Guinea Bissau, as I had said, were defending their lives away. So we, I think Okumbi was actually looking for a way to just penetrate that defense and also in the second half and just a score a goal. So later on, just the same thing. Guinea Bissau defending, Harambe starts trying to attack. Guinea Bissau defending, Harambe starts trying to attack. And then another decision quite controversial made by Okumbi. He pulled out Bran Mandela and replaced him with Eric Johannan, uh, a forward Bran Mandela defender, pulled out uh, Eric Johanna, a forward now put in just to penetrate again the Guinea Bissau defense because it was crazy and we created so many chances. Again, Olunga not scoring, Wanyama trying to, you know, a couple of various shots on target, but nothing we didn't manage and now uh, through all that up and down up and down guinea bissau managed to actually get a corner from uh, everything and semedo actually scored a goal and that is when all hell broke loose for just the kenyan fans the kenyan uh, footballers everything so here yeah, uh, because it was a corner there was commotion actually in the penalty box uh, and then semedo just who was unmarked who was unmarked scored uh, this uh, goal that is past uh, Arnold Origi, that is our keeper, and and the Kenyan guys were like, no, that is not a goal. Guys in the stands were like, no, 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 that was not a goal. And this was also escalated because our very own footballers were actually in the referee's face saying, no, that was not a goal. That was not, so not supposed to go through. And it became a mess from there. The game had to be halted uh, because the fans were getting uh, uh, chaotic and the policemen had to go and fire tear gas uh, into the crowds, which was a mess. And firing tear gas, as you know, makes the situation worse was by the minute and now the game halted we were there i actually got scared and ran into now the pitch into the field just to sit next to the players because i thought <laughs> actually that's where i was safe so um for like 30 minutes more than 30 minutes the game was halted and there's no replay for guys in the stadium so we had to actually go on our social media pages and just check what exactly happened and that's when we confirmed it was a legitimate goal the ball actually went in and it went past origi our goalkeeper and so over 30 minutes we're just sitting there the crowds are everything is just chaotic the crowds are going crazy the crowds are shouting okumbi must go okumbi must go that is Stanley okumbi our national coach and Oh boy, oh boy, this policeman had quite 
uh, a lot uh, to do. They were just firing tear gas because I don't know. I don't know if that's really allowed. I wish they would have done it uh, some other way but the game had to continue because if we didn't wrap up this game we actually um, uh, are we actually could face sanctions from CAF that is Af Africa's governing uh, football but we actually could face uh, sanctions from CAF because of this whole commotion so the game had to be halted but at the same time the officials were like oh please let's just try to finish this game because we might be banned or we might face some crazy sanctions from CAF the game uh, resumed but we didn't we didn't we couldn't do anything we couldn't uh, score even a goal to save our lives <laughs> and um uh, after that, uh, the game actually wrapped up finally later. That is, I think, at 6.30, 6.40. Very discouraging. So what's the uh, way forward for Rambe Stars? Because actually everyone, I think with the whole, I noticed with Kenyans, when uh, Nick Mwendo actually replaced Sam Nyamwe, this came with hopes. And guys were like, team change, Nick Mwendo, this has to happen. Uh, new dawn for Harambe Stars. Uh, about AFCON, I believe we're already out because we, we have Zambia and Congo next, um, which are actually very good teams. So, yeah, uh, maybe we we'll now have to focus on how Nick Mwendo said 2022. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> so, yes, I'll keep it sports day because I'll be giving you more details on Harambe Stars as uh, the days go by. We're hoping the best and let's see how things unfold with Stanley Okumbi and also our FKF president that is nick mwendua and that's all we had for you on sports tea don't forget to subscribe and keep it sports tea for more details on various sports and don't forget to leave your questions leave the question down below in the comment section and be assured i will answer it thanks for tuning in